Mr. Swami, you cannot, uh, you cannot turn issues of policy into issues of criminality overnight. You cannot turn <laughs> issues of policy into issues of criminality. Yes. I'm sorry, you should have to read several Supreme Court judgments to know that you cannot make policy arbitrarily, unreasonably and on malafide. You have to consider Understand all policy arguments. alternatives, analyze them and then pick the correct no, policy. No. After that, nobody can fault you. Here, okay. there was no analysis. No, 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 in fact, the finance secretary you. told the no, public no, accounts no, committee no point, yeah. that there was no, no analysis Mr. whatsoever whether low prices will help the country and the subscriber or a high price will be better for the country. No, no, one so don't, uh, it's not a question at all. No, same argument can be put to the BJP Siddharth Nath Singh. Sorry to come to you so late. Here's a question. But the point being made earlier is that you cannot turn a policy issue into a criminality issue. That should actually work for the BJP. Because many of your previous ministers have also been under the scan. On a, I felt there is a mini courtroom which, is, which was to happen at, on 28th and Supreme Court was happening on your channel. Which was being debated and perhaps the political voice was not required. But since you have asked me, finally you have asked me a question. Let me be honest. You see, there is a corroborative evidence which is pointing towards Chidambaram. There is something which has come out through an RTI. You, everybody has debated well that, you know, the government, the CBI should have investigated that part of the finance ministry's note or the memorandum to the prime minister. But the truth is that if uh, any finance ministry or any ministry writes to a memorandum, to the Prime Minister, it doesn't work in a vacuum. There are uh, enough ever, you know, uh, documents which they study. On the basis of that, they bring they to a conclusion. And then they write. So the Finance Ministry in March 2011, they concluded and they put it up as a memorandum to the Prime Minister where it says that the, then the Finance Minister could have stopped this 2G spectrum scam. Now, and it also says that it was seen by the Pran Pranam Mukherjee uh, before it went to the Prime Minister. Now, Mr. Salman Khurshid, as a good lawyer, can infer that there is a difference between seeing and approving. I don't think in a government of a minister, a memorandum being put up to the Prime Minister, a minister will see and say, if it is rubbish, I will not, I, 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 I've just seen it and I've not approved it. So I think these arguments are failing. The government is an bin. They don't know which side to go. There is a civil war. There is maximum the government can do and the Congress can do is delay the inevitable, but cannot avoid the inevitable. And the inevitable is that Chidambaram must be investigated. And once the Chidambaram is investigated, I know Mr. Subramaniam will not agree with me, Subram, but the Prime Minister cannot escape his responsibility and cannot hide behind political compulsion. Mr. Swami. You have in the past given a clean chit to the Prime yes. Minister. Yes, I have. I have given it. I said that he is uh, guilty of civil wrong. I have not seen him uh, having made any money in all this. And I don't see uh, that uh, he has been uh, entrusted with any responsibility except the general responsibility of being a Prime Minister. And we know how much that also has been devalued by extra constitutional authority in the system. And uh, he has therefore on record, I have not seen anything that he has done which can be called as criminality. Of course, he, has, uh, he could have asserted as Prime Minister. Uh, and therefore, the, for not asserting, oh, he is guilty Swami, of civil wrong, which can be taken but, care of after the criminal case is No, but I, 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 am, I, am, I am confused here, sir. I don't understand your selective, Mr. Yeah. Swami, your select, I'll tell you, you're, you're, you're selectively kind on some people. In both the Prime Minister's and the Finance Minister's defense, it can be argued they maybe knew of Raja's decisions but were unaware of the motive. No. No. Shouldn't they be given some benefit no. of no. doubt? In the case of the Finance... Equally for both. In the case of the Finance Minister, then Finance... In the case of the then finance minister, it was first resolved by cabinet of 2003 that only the finance minister and the telecom minister will decide. Then, after that, the 2006 amendment, they were not even to report to the uh, GOM. It was the they had to only report to the, uh, to the uh, prime minister. You're get, you're getting and from January, we see 
that the uh, finance minister, Mr. Chidamram, then finance minister, is meeting yep. Raja. There is a meeting no, no, of minds. A, no, sir, there is a clear so conspiracy. A, the In question, fact, Mr. Chidamram is so the senior a question partner coming your way. and Raja is the junior partner. One minute, a and the criminality can come out, but I am not going to raise that in the Supreme Court. No, 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 no. Why, because why? that is not required the, in the Supreme Court. There is a question coming your way from Siddharth Nath Singh. Just take that question. Yes, Mr. Singh. Uh, Orna, my question is, if Mr. Swami is Sir Subramanji is saying 2003 cabinet note, yes. who turned that cabinet note in 2006? It was with the approval of the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Then there, there are many other questions which Mr. So, uh, Subraman Swami must answer why he is not blaming the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the 122 licenses were issued on 10th January 2008. The LOIs were issued only till February 2008. Then the licenses were issued till April. The spectrum allocation happened after April 2008. Look at the ISRO. Uh, there was ISRO Act, you know, which the Prime Minister turned it after two years. The Prime Minister was aware in 2008, uh, through the media, through opposition, through his own colleagues, that a big scam has already happened, irregularities happened. He could have stopped even then, but he did not. So, do, to say that well, Prime Minister <coughs> let me say, had a hands over that... vote is impossible to be accepted. Let me say that after this Chidamram case is over, you can have a special one on the Prime Minister and I am ready to discuss it. Well, I think, you know, right now, it's some would say, Mr. Swami, your target is only Mr. Chidambaram. One minute, one minute. It's TSR Subramanian wanted to... Well, well originally, Mr. Originally, Mr. Karunanidhi said my only target was Mr. Raja because he was the Dalit. Then it became that I was anti-woman because I was... Uh, after Mr. Kanyamori, you know, this kind of thing can go on being said. But the fact of the matter is that I'm a private individual. I cannot take all, everybody together. I am doing it step by step and I'm getting results. TSR Subramaniam, yes, you wanted to come in, sir. I think only two points. The question of uh, <coughs> loss was discussed. They said there's a cabinet decision of 2003 on which all the decisions uh, took place. Uh, I think two things. Uh, that decision was on the basis that the benefit should go to the public. The fact that licenses were sold at 8 to 10 times the price yes. shows that the purpose was not met and therefore there was clear loss, number one. Secondly, I think it's important to understand that in the context of this 2G allocation in 2000-2008, enough noting is there in finance ministry, in telecom ministry, FA of the telecom ministry that uh, uh, auction should be done. The TRA has recommended uh, market dynamics. At least there are 20 notes floating all over the place. What note? Now, when a note comes of this sort, I know that within the finance ministry there is a detailed note clearly recommending that there should be auction. I, it not surfaced as yet, it will surface. Now, in, this, in these circumstances, Clearly, it is not an act of no, omission minute, to go sir, one by minute, one, minute, one, minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. One minute, second time to, you have said on the show to today. The decision. Sir, second and time you have said the on the show today. Second time you have said on the show today, there are notes they will surface. As the petitioner, as the petitioner, Su Subramaniam Swami should subpoena you to get access to those documents you have referred to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you should. There is an easier, there is an easier way. Yes. Arnab, there is an easier way. Yes. May, may I may I say that? Go on. Arnab, the easier way is for the petitioner to file an application before the Supreme Court in the pending matter, which is in the interest of a public interest litigation, that the court should summon the entire record of every department, the finance ministry, the telecom ministry and the prime minister's office. Yes. And the entire record will come to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court can thereafter itself examine or have a somebody, an amicus theory or somebody to examine the file and see who is culpable and who is not culpable. Who has committed a criminal act and who Thank has not Thank you very much. A That's a brilliant act. suggestion. But why? That's a brilliant suggestion.
that's actually you know this but nobody took my suggestion seriously about subramaniam swami needing to subpoena mr tsr subramaniam today nobody took don't took took, so took that a, seriously a, every <laughs> one minute what what, what my, my every question record will be there in the supreme court i'm sure it will i'm sure and it mr. will and maybe that's a way of former former cabinet secretary saying well, maybe that's a way of that's a way of pulling this pulling this whole story together politically politically my question to sudarth nath singh is so that it does not come out that, so that it does not come out every 15 days it doesn't come out in tranches Absolutely. everything will be there all together to be examined well maybe that will require a you know, much much more detailed investigation politically mr sudarth nath singh uh, what if look at this possibility what if day after tomorrow prime minister reaches pranam mukherjee says you know it is just my this is one of the opinions of various people in my ministry I don't know what the media is talking about. I don't know what Mr. Subramaniam Swami is talking about. If uh, suppose the court says tomorrow there is no conspiracy, then what is what happened? Back to square one for the BJP. The court is not going to say that because the yes. court is not is going on to the, say that because that's the, not the issue before I the court. I think it's time. It's on on a. It's time the Congress and the government stop this act of hiding a broccoli in a glass of milk. it is visible it is known that what has happened it is, uh, and we had said it in the beginning that raja alone could have not masterminded a huge scam like this there are many others the prime minister has uh, is hiding behind saying that there has been a political compulsion that's the title with the prime minister is entitled to give but there is a conspiracy and the conspiracy is selective conspiracy to loot this country under a title called which is the prime minister given title that there is a political compulsion okay, maybe, everybody has maybe denied, Mr. and there are people who have felicitated this entire process where it has come sure. so i don't think the government can hide too long now mr sushil kumar when did you last meet your client a raja this morning for what is four he, hours what was he what is he saying about all of this going on what is his view give us the inside story yes. he is very confident as soon as mr chidambaram is examined by the court the whole truth will come out and it may lead to the prime minister also later on okay we will leave it at that subramaniam so is subramaniam swami doing mr a raja a good turn will he subpoena mr tsr subramaniam once the news are is over tonight gentlemen we follow the story and thank, thank you, you so much, much for joining thank me thank you arnab <laughs> that's a joke thank you very much for joining me on the news hour tonight that is that was so interesting did that part of the finance minister the ministry's note or the memorandum to the prime minister but the truth is that if uh, any finance ministry or any ministry writes to a memorandum to the prime minister it doesn't work in a vacuum there are uh, enough ever you know uh, documents which they study on the basis of that they bring they to a conclusion and then they write alternatives analyze them and then pick the correct no, policy no. after that nobody can fault you here there was no analysis no, 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 in fact the finance secretary told the no, public no, accounts no, committee no point, yeah. that there was no, no analysis Mr. whatsoever whether low prices will help the country and the subscriber or a high price will be better for the country no, no, so don't uh, it's not a question at all no same argument can be put to the bjp said being debated and perhaps the political voice was not required but since you have asked me finally you have asked me a question let me be honest you see there is a corroborative evidence which is pointing towards chidambaram there is something which has come out through an rti you everybody has debated well that uh, you know the gum the cbi should have investigated that that thing sorry to come to you so late here's a question but the point being made earlier is that you cannot turn a policy issue into criminality issue that should actually work for the bjp because many of your previous ministers have also been under the scan on a i i feel there is a mini courtroom which is which was to happen at, on 28th and supreme court was happening on your channel which is mr swami you cannot uh, you cannot turn issues of policy into issues of criminality overnight you cannot turn issues of policy into issues of criminality i'm sorry you should have to read several supreme court judgments to know that you cannot make policy arbitrarily unreasonably and on malafide you have to consider all policy